Hey everyone. So I saw two things so far. I saw one yesterday. Or both yesterday actually. But I was talking about being a measure with you today. Um my two sales. So this is a better homes and gardens, eighteen and new cookbook, five ring miner, tenth edition H C vintage which you can see like a little sticker residue left over. And you can see like a little line in there. I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Or that was there. But then I can see like little wear. Some um, little wear on the pages. You can see like a little um cold staining on the pages. And just like a little dirt on the pages. I listed for nine ninety nine plus but then someone a few hours later Offered on um, seven ninety five plus shipping, and I accepted. Um, I took about a couple hours for it to sell, and I seen that, so I just happy to get rid of it for seven ninety five. So shipping, huh? not too shabby. I was at like a dollar two in that um, at garage sales, and at garage sales. Uh, so let's be uh, the next garage sale that sells. You gotta try to say per item. I'm gonna try to say per the whole lot. No. Just like, no, my cost, my thing's already paid for. No, I just say I make like zero profit. But then I say up to the amount I have. I said zero profit. I mean, the item cost, I make profit on that. I just sell whole thing. Day of registration. Or whatever. And then I sold a Stens 140 dash straight some strain. This is break strain 3 and 3, 1, 5, 2. I was in these for like very little. And these are just like a loss leader I do on my account. These are like loss leaders. I don't make nothing. I, in fact, I actually lost like seven, like money to be selling this. But I didn't really make nothing by it. But, you know, I'm not too worried though. It's a loss leader. It's a nice little loss leader. Um, I've had, I had three of these. I sold. I sold all three of these. Um, I sold a Sten Sterhino on February 1st. I listed these uh, September 11th. I listed on February 1st. It's like somewhere in like Texas, I believe, for them. 349 free ship full price. I just took an offer on one to someone in South Carolina for on May or March 29th for 299. And then on April 28th, you can see it's sold on for 340. It is going to a million support fee, actually. And then, um, in the email, it doesn't matter where it goes, it's the same price. It's going to, um, or not. So, yeah, 349 free ship. Um, so I didn't really make much, but it, it's alright, though. Um, so. Just like a nice little loss leader, which I'm cool with. Um, I'm cool with, so. So, yeah. So. I figure, you know, if someone buys this and they might bundle something else with it. But. But I didn't have nothing that was, like, similar that they could bundle with it, I guess, so. Mm. Oh, well, whatever. No biggie. But, but yeah, whoops, um, yeah, so I, yeah, and now I have all my brand new parts inventory, I'm pretty much out of, that was my last brand new part, I actually have a couple of belts that are brand new, but, um, and then I have a, some used, um, couple cadet, giant ear parts, so I have it listed, and I have like a couple to the parts to the handle to the require. Like a lot more seat. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna um um look up the um parts on my listing. And I'm just gonna um I have a thing on um I'm gonna make a little sheet of paper. I go write it out. Like um John Deere Cup Cadet link um that parts are for which I put in that box and like use it. The parts that I listed it says these are all the parts that I got. 
I'm in big like lot, maybe listed for like dirt cheap, maybe ninety ninety nine for shipping. Something like that. Um that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm also gonna list like coffee grinder today. Um I've been I've been kinda of busy the last few days so I haven't had time to like really list a lot doing other things, but um I'll say cupcake parts a lot. And like you can see, so because that steering column uh, five, um, see, cup get a lot of parts two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, three hundred and forty-five dollars free ship. Which, um, which I mean, you could, um, you could honestly put, just get a big box and just list it in that, which I would do. I mean, you could probably get easy, no problem. Make more money than that. So it quicker, I guess. And then, you'll get parts, vintage per box, five dollars plus shipping. And our guy is saying five dollars plus shipping more. And then, you'll get original parts on. Any five fifty plus ship. And this will actually 19 and then 5 so it honestly people will I mean, just buy it for like 20 8 plus ship 20 plus ship 22 plus ship 21 plus ship 28 plus ship 25 plus ship 25 plus ship again and then, um, 25 plus ship. And if it's in large battery for 25 plus ship. And then, yeah, 35 plus ship. I'm just gonna, like, all the, what I'm gonna do with all the stuff I can't, um, which it's the same seller. No. But yeah, I think that was our last year in Hallmark. The more you get, the more you lose. I'll probably just listen for about 10 to 20 plus ship. And vintage parts up. And just generically parts up. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if it'll work. John. I want to see if John Deere parts up. Um. Um. You can, there's one for a used vintage Mondo on ten one twelve parts up. And there's twenty fifty plus ship. Okay. That parts up. This parts fifty plus ship. I wanted to give some, honestly what I want to do is I want to give something a good deal. Um, I'm not going to say I'm used, not new. Um, and I am going to say I'm a home and garden. Um, yeah, because... And... I mean, I'm gonna sell a couple of them for them. Twenty fifty push up. It's like a clean little clean up deal, and I'm probably just gonna do this like cheap, like ninety nine, ninety nine push up. I think super dirt cheap. Like that's why I don't sell their parts on. Someone resold it, made money. Someone, if someone re buys that parts, they were like thirty bucks all in with their cost of shipping. They're like thirty some bucks all in. They sell. They don't have to sell many parts to make profit. That person, they can sell them. Like, uh -oh, they get, you know, you make a good deal. You get a ton of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. Um. Just make a ton of stuff for that. I'm listing. Um. 
Honestly, I, I'm just gonna do like a ton of them. I'm gonna do like this one, like if that vintage person, or if that's the title. So, now here's just bullpen 10. Vintage per box. I'll just say what random what it's for. Honestly, like Kohler. Once again, that's what I'm gonna do. Just do it like a big box. Um, I was on the on the lots. I do have returns. In the last slide, I said buyer will pay the shipping to them, and the return shipping back to me. So we're basically that means they're out like forty bucks. Even if they get a refund on the whole thing, they're still out money on the shipping end and the return shipping. Got like twenty bucks for the slot. A lot that didn't even got resell up. That's really not really a lot. Neutral. I think this person trying to say narrow wide frame. Um, yeah, but see, like this is like a just a box, a sort of random box. So I'm just gonna lay the, lay everything flat on the table. You know, like take pictures of it. Could get vintage color parts up, clean it. Vintage parts clean out a lot or something like that. Basically, that's what I'm gonna do. Same with this, just to like a vintage, just to like a parts clean out. And just whatever it's vintage parts box. On. Just see what it sells for. Whatever it sells for, it sells for. Essentially, um. So. Yes, yeah. So. Thanks, everybody.